Well, we have a build that, ready and waiting. That and is I've got a PDF and a dream. That is definitely on the orange side, your uh, color balance now. But yeah, I mean, these are this is this is craft dinner. Like I can turn the saturation down and that might help a bit in terms of making things. That up. is pretty accurate. In terms but that of is color. actually craft dinner. Uh, not this time. No. No, I am. Uh... Wait, how do I turn it down? Oh man, right, it's the other camera. Oh, please don't. Saturation, hang on, hang on. Is that a bit hmm. better to make that's out better. everything? That's better. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. That's okay. actually closer to the color the actual desk is. Great, because the color that I'm looking at here, or the, like it's definitely having to do some work to kind of manage that obviously, but yeah, that's uh, this is a very rich KD orange. And it's, I know it's not coming across like that, but it is a KD orange. Anyway. 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 So uh, this is. Yeah, get 20 minutes up on the clock. Okay. All right. So you've got your assembly. I do. You want to have it so that the bat wings are pointed away from you? Yes. Perfect. All right. You are going to need six pieces for this step. Okay. Uh, they are all the similar kind of yellow as the rest of the assembly. Okay. So you are going to need first uh, two quarter circles that have two open pips on the bottom and a step. Looks like there's three different types of these. You want the most aggressive of the domes. How many types? Uh, according to the instructions, there are three different height levels that you can get for these quarter domes. You uh -huh. need the one that is the tallest. I... And it's got two open pips on the very bottom, then a step okay. up with one open pip. Okay, uh, I'm searching. I have okay. found these. That. Tallest dome. In the highest tower. And then you're going to need four pieces. Um, hmm. Thanks, Mega Blocks. <laughs> so, it's Mega Blocks. These Mega are blocks. plates in that same color with uh -huh. two pips, and it looks like a if you took an L and curved it off so that you still have a right angle in between the two pips but the back of that piece has got a nice curve to it same size as those two quarter domes that you had how many you're gonna need four i have those Imagine okay. if you have an L, but you don't know how to do an, draw an L. <laughs> L plus ratio plus... <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, uh, you're going to need two pairs of those plates uh -huh. and just pop them together to form a sandwich. Oh. So, Man, eat the sandwich. You're going to have two different stacked, badly drawn L's. Is Lego a sandwich? I have this. It is now. And now you're going to just take those quarter domes, smack them right on top. Um, smack them. Consider them smacked. Perfect. So you're going to take those two mini assemblies that you just built. Mm -hmm. And on your larger assembly, you should have two spots on the bottom left and bottom right hand corners I, I do that they just pop right into ah, i see fill those voids i have done this awesome step that's 24 for this uh activity <laughs> flip the whole thing over that's also a good name for this activity yeah mm -hmm. oh! <laughs> okay these are weird <laughs> yes i agree <laughs> So, I don't know what you're looking at, but I'm sure it's weird. <laughs> what what you're going to need are two uh, of that same yellow, uh -huh. and they're 
quarter columns. Oh, uh, that's not going to be enough. Uh huh. So one is going to be two pips long. One is one pip long, and the two pip long quarter column should have what looks like a little black dot on it. Just a regular uh, two pip long quarter column. Quarter column. From the corner store. <laughs> Where you get the coffee. It's like a piece of Lego that has been given the black spot by a pirate. Actually, Matthews, can you say I got coffee from the, the corner store? Or coffee for a quarter from the corner store? Can you say that? <laughs> I got a uh, coffee for a quarter from the corner store. I got a coffee for a quarter of quarter from the corner store. <laughs> the answer is not really your question, Corey. <laughs> Thank you. This is, this is why coffee tends to cost way more than that because nobody could say it properly. Yeah. So these these are corner quarter columns. Uh, but if we had a twenty cent so coin, just just a little bit of a curve to them. A little bit of a curve to them. Yeah, because they're a quarter of a column. And the Dorian style. If you find the little one that is two pips long and has the black dot, that will pretty much tell you what that one pip wide one needs to look like. Imagine a column four times bigger than this. And then just take away three quarters of that. And mm -hmm. then you'll have a quarter column. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're in that same wait, yellow. Wait, hang on. I... Mm -hmm. Okay. What if they're what, in what? a different yellow? Hey, hang on. Hold, please. Part of this is also searching. Searching, searching, searching. Yeah, we need a... Uh, Can we get some smooth the size jazz of the short uh, hold music? I'm also happy to attempt a different way to describe that, if that would help you, Beach. Oh, please go ahead. Okay, so... Uh... The way that you're looking at it, it's got one flat bottom that has open spots for the pips to go into, mm -hmm. one flat back, and then it curves into it. So it curves up from the bottom towards that flat back. Okay, I think I have what you're talking about. Okay. No, I have what you're talking about. I am sure, certain of it. That's the okay. spirit. Perfect. So, you should, <laughs> on the assembly with the bat wings, have a mm -hmm. spot that's got six pips that have not yet been covered. Correct. Okay, so you're going to take the one that is two pips long mm -hmm. and put it on the backmost row of that six starting so that the little black dot mm -hmm. is going towards the right and you want the curve side to face away from you. So the flat back uh -huh. is facing you. Okay. It curves up. The black. black dot. Let's see. Reminder to chat that our goal for the shift is to hit nine million dollars total. How much for do we need? For this one shift. What? Yes. What, what do we need? <laughs> it says what? on the screen. Oh, uh, even better. We need like a little over seventeen thousand. A little over seventeen thousand. Oh, did you lose the black dot? Uh. Yes. Oh, no. One second. I'm going to do a thing. Okay. Did you lose the black dot? No, he said, <laughs> covering for the fact that he lost the black dot. Please describe the, uh, <laughs> please describe the piece one more time. All right. 
so uh it's one pip wide two mm -hmm. pips long okay and it's got one flat side and then a curve that curves up to it so it's not square it curves down and it's got a black dot on it so if you set it down uh -huh. it's got a right angle and then so that you've got that curve up and on that curve is where you'll find that little black dot on that curve black where dot is on the curve where on the curve uh if you're looking at it <laughs> on the right side of the curve on the right side of the curve right side of the curve a black dot black right dot side. That same it. yellow as the main color of the assembly. Ah! I have found it. Okay. And now you want it so that the curve side is facing yep. away from you. Uh-huh. Flat side is facing towards you. Yes. And do you also have a one by one that is the exact same shape, goes right next to it? I have it, yes. Okay, I'm rad. Now. Mm. All right, so that is step 24, moving on to step 25. All right, what do I need for that? This so these cheese pieces has like are... a weird black dot on it. <laughs> uh, They're the exact same color as that main assembly. Uh-huh. And they are healthy. aggressive arches. Okay. You're going to need two different ones. Okay. One is one pip wide, okay. and it's got just a little bit of a squiggle to it. Squiggle, and then you're okay. going to need a second one that is two pips wide with a continuing squiggle. Huh. All right. They're aggressive arches. Okay. With that uh, big step. Let me look. Yeah. Let me look. All right. Uh, I, uh, okay. And I have found these. Okay. So you're going to want to put uh, on those three final exposed pips, uh -huh. the one by one goes on the left, uh -huh. and then the two by uh, the. Two I have pip done this. Wide. Oh. I have done this. All right. So just push that off to the side. We're done with that for now. Okay. Put it in the fridge. Make put sure whole, to label it. The whole assembly. Whole assembly. We're okay. moving on. Great. All right, step we'll 26. We'll never see it again. You're going to need three pieces, all that same color that we've been working on. Okay. You're going to need one plate that is one by two with pips on the top and bottom. One second. Mm -hmm. I found this. Okay. Excuse me. And, and another plate that is two by two, pips on the top and bottom. I found this. And then a brick. That is one by three. I found this. Okay. So you're going to take the two by two uh -huh. and butt that right up against the one by two so that it forms a single, what looks like a two by six. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. I've done this. Okay. And you're going to take that one by three. Mm-hmm. And you're going to cover. Uh, do you have this oriented horizontally or vertically? You need to tell me what to do. Okay. So orient it vertically for me. I have done this. Okay. You're going to take the one by three brick and put that on the right side, covering one row of pips. Ah, I have done this. Okay. Step 27. All right. You're going to need another one of those one by two uh, yellow plates with the pips on the top and bottom. I have done this. And now we're going to get weird. You need red. Okay. What? Uh, this is going to be a one by two brick with hollow pips on the top, an open back, and a single pip on one side. I have found this. Okay. So 
uh, with the pieces that you just put together, you're going to mm -hmm. put that one by two so that it is butting up against the top hip on the left side of the two by six. So it's coming off at a right angle, pointing towards the left. Oh, I've done this. Teach me to be an asshole, a, a right. busshole. Uh, and that was you, saved. Uh, just to make sure you took the plate, correct? Yes. Okay, it's not connected. It's just butting up against. Yes. So it's just touching. Uh huh. Okay, so now you're going to take that brick, the red brick. Uh huh. And you're going to put that so that the hollow side is facing you. Okay. Pip is facing away from you. Uh -huh. And you're going to put it so that it's covering the uh, top leftmost pip on that two by six that you put together mm -hmm. and covering the rightmost pip on that one by two plate that you put next to it. I've done this. Rat. All right. Step 28. Uh, you're going to need three pieces. One yellow two by one bricks. One second. Mm -hmm. I have this. Okay. You're going to need one two by two yellow plate with pips on the top and bottom. I have this. And now you're going to need a blue two by one brick that's got two hollow pips on the top and one empty pip on the side. Please repeat all the pieces. Sure. Uh, yellow one by two brick. Yes. Yellow uh, two by two plate, pips top and bottom. Yes. And blue brick that is one yes. by two. Okay, cool. Only the, There's only one. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. So you're going to take that plate mm -hmm. and you should have uh, an open spot for it to just go right up against the uh, assembly that you've built. So it kind of I have done this. fits. Okay. Now you're going to take that yellow one by two and put that up against the red two by one brick. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to take the blue one by two and just put it right up against that yellow so that the open pip is facing towards you. I have so, done this. All right. Step 29. Nice. You are going to need a two by two yellow plate, pips top and bottom. Yeah, I have this. And then a plate that looks kind of like a very wide T that has a row of three pips and then a row of two pips. I have this. Okay. So you're going to take that. Uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Uh, take the two by two plate mm -hmm. and put it on the left hand side of the assembly that you've been building. So it's kind of centered. Yes. And then cover the remaining three pips on the assembly and the uh, rightmost two pips on that two by two plate. I've done this. Okay, step 30. Uh, you're going to need two small yellow L pieces that have three pips. One second. Searching. Okay. Minute and a half left. Searching. Two pieces? Two of those L's. I have them. Okay. Now you're going to need one yellow one by three plate with solid pips. I have them. And now you're going to need a two by four plate, still yellow. I have this. Okay. So take that uh, yellow plate and put it so that the pips are facing the tabletop and the open is uh, facing up. 
I've done this. Okay, so now you're going to take those two L pieces and just pop them right on top so that you're forming a little, I guess, C. But you should have, when you put those right on top of the uh, plate, you should have two open spaces for pips remaining. So it just fits right on top like a sandwich on top of those two little L's. I have done this. Okay. So now that just is time. Flip. Oh, it's that uh, is we, not we, the we, end of step 30. Let's, in, let's finish the step. Okay, cool. So now you are going to take the assembly with the that you've been working on with the red and the blue blocks uh -huh. and on the side closest to that row of red yellow and blue bricks you should have three open pips yes cover that with your one by three i've done this and then you should be able to just pop that uh little sandwich that you just made right on top of the remaining bricks. I so you're covering those last four open, uh, uh, available pips on the assembly. I have done this. And that is the end of step 30. Excellent. Yay. Nice. Nicely done. Thank you. All right. Put some. I'm going to get off. Mm -hmm. Go back to the booth. Back to the booth. Oh. When I heard there was a red brick, I was like, what? Mm -hmm. And then there was a blue brick. And then it just turned out they were to distinguish one side from the other. Yeah. Which um, is clever. 